Hi, I'm Mark from Better Photos and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about this uh, Codec Exposure Calculator. Um, you might be thinking, well what on earth is that? Well, it dates. this particular one dates from around about the 1940s I think. And in days gone by, cameras didn't have inbuilt light meters, so we had to uh, find a different means of calculating exposure. In other words, the shutter speed and aperture combinations that we need to needed to dial into the cameras to get the correct exposure for the kind of pictures we were looking for. So this little uh, gadget was used to do that. And if I can just give you a little walk through, a little demonstration of how it's used. Um, the starting point is to know, first of all, what film speed you're using. Um, and the start point for this is we turn this over and dial in that film speed. Now, when I first looked at this, I was a little bit confused because I couldn't see any references to film speed that I recognised and, and subsequently found out that this BS index, British Standard Index, um, related to film speed. But um, just to give you a little clue, 31 ties up with a film speed of 100. 34 ties up with a film speed of 200. So we've got some numbers there to dial in but first of all what we need to do is decide or determine the, the time of year and that's shown on this section and the time of day that we're taking pictures in along this section so for example if we're saying we're taking pictures in October hopefully you can just see that at noon um, that's that little section there we follow that little white line down and this is the part where we dial in our um, film speed. So in this case we're going to say it's uh, 34 which equates to um, 200 film speed. So I've dialed that in, you can just about see that there, tying in with October and noon. And the next step is we need to look at the kind of lighting conditions that we're shooting in. So we then move over to this section here. So if we were shooting on a, a bright sunny day we use this section, a hazy day that section, a dull day that one, and a very dull one that one. So the next step is to then uh, look at the particular kind of conditions we're shooting in and then, and then use these numbers here. So we've got that set and let's just say we are shooting on a dull day. So we then need to use these numbers in this section before I turn the card over and, and use these uh, to get the specific exposure we're looking for. So we're shooting on a dull day and it's uh, anything between sort of 30, 29, that kind of region. Let's say 30 for, for argument's sake. Remember 30 and we'll turn that over then and we'll then need to look at the specific subjects and the specific locations they're actually shooting in. So here we've got a whole range of different things from open streets, we've got groups in the open, we've got taking pictures uh, under trees but well lit from the sky, uh, in woodland with very little direct sunlight, under verandas, near windows and, and in well lit rooms. So the next step is to then fine tune that exposure dependent on where we're actually taking pictures on it you know specifically so let's say we're taking normal subjects uh, we need to use this category but we need to now move in remember we brought that number 30 from the other side dial 30 in, uh, in so that it lines up into this section here we're imagining we're taking pictures normal subjects say say groups in the open or whatever 30 we've lined up with that finally we get to the result because the result is shown in this little section here and there's a little walk through here first of all these are uh, apertures these are f numbers you might recognize them from your camera so we've got f2 f2.8 f4 f5.6 f8 right through to f32 there you can see that so that's your apertures and the shutter speeds are shown in this section here so we've got hundreds we've got 500th of a second, 250th of a second, 100th of a second, etc. So the specific result and the aperture and shutter speed combination that we need to dial into a camera based on the, the scenario that I just uh, set is shown here. So if we were shooting at f5.6 we'd need to dial in a shutter speed of 250th of a second. If we wanted a bit of a shallower depth of field then, and we wanted to shoot at f4, we get we have to dial in 500th of a second. And you can see that if we were shooting at f2.8, a thousandth of a second. So by dialing in your aperture and your shutter speed combination, you'll now hopefully get the correct exposure based on that scenario of shooting on in noon uh, in October 
on a dull day uh, in open streets. So a bit of a long-winded way around and we, I suppose we've got to be very thankful for the massive leaps in technology that we've got now where our digital cameras have got inbuilt light meters and we don't have to do all this fiddling. I think it's a lot of fun. I've been using it and that's what it is, a bit of fun um, using it with my film retro cameras and uh, that's it. That's the Codec Exposure Calculator. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching.